defeat it again. This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs> Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 6 of Crash Bandicoot Warped for part of the uh, Instant Trilogy on the Xbox. So, going back, I was looking at how to get these gems because, you know, I always forget. Technically, for this one and the yellow gem, which is in, I think, the world in World 2, you actually need to get 5 and 10 relics respectively to actually activate this area to get to the next worlds. So, technically, we can't 100% every level till we beat the final boss. So I guess we'll do Gone Tomorrow, which I'm not sure if we can do this one, but we'll try it out. We'll see. The green gem. We do have the green gem. We actually just got the green gem, so we can actually 100% this level. This one only has 87 gems, or gems, boxes though. I really do like these levels. They went all out with designing these levels, not only in the original Crash 3, but in this one too. Now these enemies are kind of interesting, so they'll shoot three times, and then they'll like flip around, which then you can destroy them. I actually really like these levels. Also, those guys look cramped in their little UFOs. I feel sorry for them. Also, a checkpoint already? Doesn't that seem kind of lame? They always seem to have the same attack pattern, too, for whatever reason. And then I don't even know how long they actually... Oops. I don't want to stand on that while using the Fruit Zooka, because I don't want to fall off and die. Is this the one that I can't? I can't remember if this is the one that has the, uh... Oh, no, I'm pretty sure you need the green gem to activate all of these. This is the one I was thinking of. I thought this was the other level, but the other level turns out I can actually get 100% for it, even if I wanted to. See, this will activate the boxes back there. And then this, these ones will activate these ones. But then you're probably wondering, because if we go up on this, there's going to be this one, how we get that one. Well, we can't technically get that one yet, so we need to actually save that one box. So we don't... Um, I hate the backtracking. So then we can get these. Because there's not that many boxes, so I believe the green gem will actually bring us back down here. So you actually have to backtrack quite a bit in this level because of that. At least I remember how, I remember I think that's how it's supposed to go. So we'll go up this elevator to the next section. Or are we even going up? I think we're just going over. I think this is like a futuristic city if Cortex actually succeeded in taking over the planet, which is kind of interesting. Alright, there's the crystal already. Nice. And we got another checkpoint, which is good, because let's be real, we don't want to have to backtrack for some of those gems. Oh, don't tell me. Every time I see these metal uh, things like that, I'm just expecting to have to time TNT to blow something up underneath. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh-oh, wait a minute, I screwed up. I have to die. Because we have to, um, detonate that later on. I, for some reason, detonated it now, which is dumb on my part. You can also kill them with their little shield up when they're, like, I don't know why. So if you, actually, if you, I guess if you jump on them, they'll still die. I don't remember them dying like that, but whatever. I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come over, and then we're gonna slide under here, grab this... And then we'll uh, go down here. So we'll do this. We got... Actually, I could have just shot it. I don't know why I'm doing the patient way. Oh, this one you have to shoot, though. 
Don't know why it would even turn metal, honestly. What's with their obsession with these, like, switches in this? I think it's to get you used to your, uh, fruit zooka, right? Even though I'm pretty sure you would have used it in the... in other levels. That's a lot of nitro, holy cow. There's actually not a lot of boxes, it was just mainly nitro, which is kind of hilarious. But there's 17 more. Yeah, we have over half, so... Really makes me question exactly how many, um... Or, like, why we have to backtrack so far. Oh, there's another checkpoint. So where's the gem plat- uh, gem platform? I guess it's a platform. But they call it gem path, so where's the gem path? Also, these are just easy. I don't know why they do- Oh, there it is. Nice. So we can take this and it should backtrack us. We do have to backtrack a long way, though, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, let's go. i just checking my, um, uh, recording hardware there. Yeah, see, there's, like, a lot of boxes over here. Unlike a lot of pathways, this one actually has, like, a lot of content behind it, which is kind of interesting. Oh, this one actually, uh, is across a cliff, which is interesting, because, yeah, now we're at 65, and we just... There we go. There we go. This guy, I'm just gonna shoot. Same with that little guy over there, just so we don't have to deal with him. Alright. Oh, and there's the second gem already. And there's the switch. Nice. Now we can take the green gem platform. Pa uh, platform. Path. Yeah, and it brings us right back here. Which... And that's all you backtracked for, by the way. Those two boxes. Now you have to do everything again without dying. Sneaky, right? Yeah, this level is honestly one of the longer levels in the entire game simply because of that. It's kind of funny. Oh, I thought it was invisible for a second because I was looking at my uh, recording there to make sure nothing's lagging too bad. It's because I don't have it on 60 FPS if you're wondering why it's not as smooth looking. Just because if I record on 60 FPS or higher than that, the um. Oh. Wait a minute! I just thought of something. I can just do that. I was gonna say um. The file size is way too big, and then I'll only be able to record like two or three videos at a time, and then have to wait to upload them. Just because of, um, you know, how things work. Also, can I actually kill these guys with the Fruit Zooka? No, you can't. I'm still missing six boxes. Please be over here. Please. Please. Oh, they are. Thank, thank the heavens. Lord Jesus, our savior. Excuse me, little buddy. Whoa, I almost fell off the cliff. That would have been sad. I was going to say, don't change up your pattern all of a sudden. That would be embarrassing. And there's the gym. Woo! There we go. 100% complete on this level. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the racing level. I hate the racing levels in this game. That's another level done. Nice. We don't ever have to go back to that. Never mind, we do. We have to get the relics. And in this game, you actually do have to get the relics. In Crash uh, Wrath of Cortex, you don't have to. Is that level 1? That was level 1, right? Yeah, and we did level 3, I'm pretty sure. Or I guess 23. So now we have to do Orange Asphalt. Which I'm not looking forward to. And for some reason my boost didn't work. There's also only 20 boxes. I feel like they have less and less boxes per level. Also, now the cop cars, you know, move around. Also, I see that box way up there. Yeah, ha, ha. Also, when I was doing the practice run of this game and just replaying it again, when I did the, um, uh, second racing level like this, it was actually easy. I got everything in the first try. Can you get out of my way? Like, please, buddy? Like, I don't care about winning the race right off the bat as long as we get the gym. If we don't get anything, then it's just embarrassing. So, yeah, hopefully we can get that. 
Oh, I'm kind of glad I went over to that weird angle like that. We already have half the boxes, though, and two of them are right here, so then that leaves a whole eight left. Which is pretty good. We could get that if we want to, but I just want to make sure we get everything. Also, I don't really remember this one being this simplistic so far. Oh, shoot, get out of my way. That was just dumb on me. Yeah, remember, you can also do L2 to, like, kind of break, which allows you to kind of make it around corners. Though it does drastically slow you down, which is a bummer. I don't think we're actually going to win this race, sadly. We also still need six boxes. Where the heck are these boxes? Because I haven't seen a single box in, like, a blue moon, man. Whoa, did you have to, like, push me so far? Are you serious? These guys are, like, a-holes, man. They just, like, sent you fly- Oh, I see it over there. Beep, beep, thank you. Oh, now we got- I think the rest of them are up on these things. Yahoo! Oh! We failed. Because I didn't realize it was going to be on that side. Here we go again. Now, can I actually get my boost, though? Like, it's not giving me my boost. Like, when I hold down or, like, press the uh, right trigger, it's not giving me the, the revving, which is weird. And I know how to do that, because I do it all the time. It might be because, like, where I'm positioned in my room and have my Xbox facing where the sensor isn't reading things properly, but it's working right now. Hang on a second. I had a hair in my mouth and it was getting really difficult to talk with it in there, so I had to just pause for... Are you serious? We missed that because I had to pause. Well, let's do it again. Yay me. Yeah, it's not letting me use the boost. I kept pressing it, and he didn't even, like, throttle. Oh yeah, we did hit both of them. I was worried there for a second that we didn't even hit that, but... Luckily, we did. Now... Okay, there's a hair flying around my face, and it's just annoying me. In the same spots, too, when I'm playing this level. It's just like, I'm a hair, and I'm going to get in your way. Also, I love how I was, like, fourth place most of the race last time. Which means I only ever passed this guy and that was it. And he's not even fast. There we go. Let's avoid this cop car over here. Avoid this cop car by driving on the edge of the road. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're down to 12 again. Oh yeah, this isn't, isn't this the part where there's, like, a gap without any, uh, boxes? Yeah, until you hit this part here with this stupid cop car. I don't know how I did that. Don't don't even ask me how I did that. That was the biggest, like, near brain aneurysm I have ever had in my entire life. No, it's this part, the the one with the six that we gotta uh watch out for. Can you not do that, please? Whoa, why did that shoot me over there? That actually kinda saved me some time though because this is the uh the second place dude can you stop that please for love of all that is holy Ugh. Ugh. we did it and we got first place oh thank god we don't have to go back to the exit with the time trial which by the way is a thousand times easier Nice, we're making some good progress on this game. Well, it's getting really late into my recording time, but, uh, yeah. I started really late. I didn't start recording till almost noon, so... Anyways, we do... Yeah, we did this one. That was Flaming Passion. So next we have... Mad Bombers, which is a level we can also 100%. Crash, Coco. <coughs> Remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. 
He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Despite not actually ever doing anything, invert your controls. I love how it tells you to invert your controls. Also, how many boxes we got here, buddy? Oh, weird. It was just not doing anything. Now, I believe this one actually takes a little longer to do than the blimp one. Because I think you have to aim for the engines on each side. Or the propellers, I guess. But I'm pretty sure the engines... Are Actually, let's do that. Let's go to the options, invert vehicle controls. Oh yeah, that is like a thousand times better. Can you not? I don't really want to deal with you guys today, that's for sure. There we go, that's number two down. I'm pretty sure we've gotten like half the boxes. Yeah, we do. Alright, please, for the love of all that is holy, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. And we only need one more box after this, so where is it? Oh, there it is. Can I, like, speed up, please? Can I shoot it from here? Uh-oh. It worked! Woohoo! Wait, I hit you. It only takes one hit to kill him, so I don't know why it was doing that. Also, god, this plane is so far away, it's so blurry. And this is how the game is, it comes into focus as time goes on. So I don't know how we missed that guy, because I was directly hitting him, but sure. There we go. And then the last one that I don't know why we didn't destroy over there. Yeah, that was funny. Another 100%. Super easy. Let's leave. Huh. These levels are just a joke, man. Just a joke. We might actually be able to beat the final boss in this level, too. Alright, that was level... Yeah, it was level 24, so now all that's left is level 25, Bug Light, which is another tomb level, but I believe we actually have to get all the color gems. Yeah, all the color gems. Which, by the way, means that we can't 100% this level, so guess what we have to do? We have to backtrack to it. Also, this one takes place way more outside than the other levels. A few of them had, like, outside portions, but most of them just had, you know, regular portions. Or, like, the inside portions. The tomb part. Oh, these ones are all gonna fall. Yeah, so the gimmick of this level is it's dark, but you have a bug that, you know, follows you around that gives you light. These guys are kind of creepy. Like, even their moans are creepy, and the fact that they have a bunch of spikes. Now, I'd wait for this one until you hear that bug do its sound effect, and then do that. And I love how you can see the little bug flying off in the distance. You can kind of follow it if you run out of light, just so you know. Yeah, I think we're going to have time to beat the boss in this level, too. Yeah, so you need the blue gem to start it, but you can't do it all until you beat it, so... Don't even bother. Now let's continue on. Alright. So far, so good. I think the invincibility is just so you don't have to stop and lose your bug when you're going through all this. I feel like this level needed a different soundtrack, honestly. There's the bonus platform, but once again, we can't get everything here until we get the gems, so there's no point in taking that. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a crushy wall here. Thank you. Crystal. Hey, we're back outside, and I almost didn't make that because my double jump just straight up didn't work. Once again, like I said, it's because of my positioning in my room. Oh, I thought I was going to have double Aku for the boss fight. Oh, that would have been so good, but no. Hey, look, a Nitro Crate. Yay! Anyways, that's it. We can take on the boss. 
Man, that's three episodes in a row where I actually take on the boss. There we go, we got the crystal. Time to go to Dr. Neocortex. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! Sometimes his force field fizzles out. The music is pretty good, though. Flash Bandicoot for the last time! Give the crystals to me! Alright, I honestly- Oh yeah, the whole gimmick of this boss fight is essentially these two fighting, and you kind of fighting Cortex on the side. He is definitely more difficult than other variations of Cortex throughout history, so- Oh yeah, you don't have Aku Aku in this, because Aku Aku is too busy fighting other dude. Uka Uka. Oh yes, the mines. Oh yeah, then you gotta s knock him into the hole. And then Uka Uka will save him, obviously. Oh no, it's this boar that does. Uka Uka doesn't even save him. Well, I guess he does. I love his health bar, though, how it's like flaming too. Oh yeah, and these guys do a different attack every time. Now we got a whirlwind. The next one's way more annoying, by the way. Because I think they like crash and explode on each other. Boop. Alright, buddy. Wait, that's it? That's all you're gonna do? Oh yeah, these can kill you, by the way, so don't run into them. There we go. And one more hit and he's defeated. Crash is like, yo, diggity dog. Teabag. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoops. Now this part is the annoying part. Ah. I think Aku Aku's actually physically harming him now. Because he's the only one groaning, or that's just him using his full power. How many times does he shoot? Three? Yeah, he shoots three times. Ugh, stay away from me, you weirdos. And then they stop. No, down the hole you go, Cortex. And there we go, we beat the final boss. Yeah. Cortex incarcerated. Yeah, this is where I stopped playing last time. Wait. Oh, there it is. Speed shoes. Hold down the RT button. Yeah, now we can run. Let's run to victory. Defeated again. This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. Ooga booga. Oh, and there's no way we're going through that because we technically have to beat the trilogy before we do that, you know? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and in the next episode, we will be doing time trials, ols, 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 starting with World 1. Peace out, join the Discord and Patreon links below. Bye bye